Israel, the government that takes billions of dollars from us every year, decided to take not two, but three commercials. Their commercials were basically them saying that there are hostages. Now, of course, why would this premiere during the Super Bowl? There's nothing that we as the American people can do about that hostage effort over there. So what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to pull at your heartstrings and make you not ask any questions about what they're doing overseas. And actually, last night, in case you're wondering, while the Super Bowl was on, Netanyahu bombed a refugee camp. But don't ask any questions about that. You need to get to work and feel bad and have your heartstrings pulled to justify every war that's happening overseas. Is Why would we call our rep to do something that has nothing to do with America? It's Monday and somebody somewhere needs your money. You guys know that I dislike liars and anti-Semites more than anything in the whole entire world. And here we have a combination of both. Let's destroy every word Candace just said. Number one, Israel bombed a refugee camp while we were all watching the Super Bowl. Tell the truth about why Israel attacked Rafah, because Rafah is a Hamas stronghold and everyone knows it. And there are innocent Israeli civilians being held there as hostages. And while we were watching a Super Bowl, Israel rescued two of them. You cleverly didn't mention it since it proves that what Israel did was right. Now for the stupidity in saying that this has nothing to do with America. October 7th was a terror attack against America too. 33 US citizens were butchered by Hamas on October 7th. Do you know anything? 13 Americans were taken as hostages into Gaza. There are six American citizens in Gaza as we speak. U.S. officials had a meeting with their families yesterday, the American families who were suffering yesterday, which you know nothing about because you love, you relish in hating Jews, in hating Israel. Aside from that fact, American and Israeli security are directly linked and everyone knows this. Iran is behind all of the terror in Israel and Iran wants both America and Israel wiped off the map. Every jihadi group that wants to kill Israelis and Jews wants to obliterate America. And that's because Israel and America stand for the exact same things. Democracy, human rights, women's rights, LGBTQ rights, all of which Iran hates. Israel is the first line of defense against Iran, against Iranian terror, which is spreading like wildfire and setting key international trade routes aflame. And by the way, it didn't help that America gave Iran access to billions of dollars. But no, according to Candace Owens, this has nothing to do with America. It's all Israeli propaganda. I think that you're so hateful about Israel and ignorant of the facts because you think Israelis deserved it. It's the way you talk about Gaza, about Muslims being forced to live in certain quarters in Israel, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You think Israelis deserved it. But don't worry about it, Candace. Keep using your platform to defend Kanye West. That's the most important thing right now.